Welcome back to the Cozy Midnight website. I'd like to show you what I'll be doing for my next task. If you notice the fuselage bottom, this yellow foam, it's a slight curve as it goes towards the back. But the actual fuselage bottom is built up using urethane foam, so it should be this location here, but it needs to be almost flat as it goes back. So basically I need to sand in a wedge from this point at zero up to about a build up of about one and a half inches in the back. A base with a slot in it to allow the router to bit to run through to allow my router to set in here and slide across to set up pretty much in the orientation I want it to be. Spaced up equally, equal distance front and back off of the fuse line. Notice the piece right here that I can use to use as a stop. So when it comes up here, it hits that and now I'm to the end of the run. We'll be using our inexpensive Harbor Freight router again. The bit we will be using is a straight cut bit. Three quarter inches in diameter and about three quarter of an inch long. router doesn't care what it's cutting through, whether it's super soft urethane foam, micro joints, or the rather thicker micro joints that's bedding it down because you're going through quite a bit, it cuts it all the same, all the same, all the same level. So as we're going through, it's perfectly fine. You think about hand setting it. You've got to sand a hard joint here and then feather that through the micro bed as you're going to your PVC foam. This way it's going all the way through it all at once. Really need to see this finally come together. I've lowered the router bit to exactly the final height. This is the final cut. Back and forth we go all the way across. Let's see how this works out. Straight. You're going to have this much foam whether you've sanded it off or routed it off. So let's get rid of this and see what we look like. Wow. Perfect transition through the, through the micro. In fact, if you see all this white over here in this corner, that, that is a very fine feathering of micro from PVC, micro, and then onto the urethane foam. Absolutely perfect. If I knew I was doing this from the beginning, I would have not used urethane foam. Urethane foam is very soft, very easy to damage. How do you use something like PVC or something, or even elastifoam? Something that's a little more dense, that's more manageable and more machinable. Don't need that super soft foam if you're taking a router too. I'm pleased. Now granted, it took more work than the plan's method. But I wasn't after trying to make something faster. I was trying to make it a little bit better. So there you have it. Another tip from the Cozy Midnight website.